What is happening guys? Welcome back to Red Bridge Garage and on today's episode we're going to be slapping on a supercharger on a Duromax 440cc engine. Hey, I'm Greg. Sometimes I'm a big goof. So we basically made this video. Uh, one of my buddies had the idea of doing a supercharger on propane because propane does kind of regulate itself. You don't have to jet it up. And I was like, ooh, that sounds like a good idea. So I just went for it. So probably should have researched how the propane setup works instead of doing it after the fact. But a lot of people that might know how these propane setups work will probably beat their head against the screen through this whole video until we find out that it isn't gonna work but we are gonna make this setup work with a standard carburetor. Uh, we just wanna do this as a proof concept and sometimes we fail in the shop and you're gonna see this. Uh, we basically, this will not work and we knew the gasoline side of it wouldn't with a blow through setup, but we thought propane might. But again, we found out how the propane system works from a professional and he said, yeah, that ain't gonna work. So we just wanted to put this out there as uh, you're gonna make mistakes and uh, this is how we learn. Now I know how regulators on propane work and I know how the propane setup actually functions. Uh, this is how we learn, we try it, we fail. I just wanna tell you guys that. So if you're negative, uh, try to keep it to yourself because uh, again, you're never gonna learn this stuff unless you fail. We failed a thousand times. This is just an example, we're still failing, we're still learning. So back to the video. Now this is their dual fuel engine. This can accept propane or gasoline. And the reason I chose this engine is propane doesn't need a lot of adjusting like carburetors with gasoline do. So it should adjust itself if we run a blow through setup. Now blow through is where we're blowing the boost through the carburetor. We've ran these superchargers in the past on our V twin and we did a draw through setup. That means the carburetor is before the supercharger and the supercharger is pulling the, the mixture of fuel through the carb and then pushing it through the engine. Now with the propane, what we're hoping to do is have a blow through, which is a lot better running engine. You get a lot better throttle response. You don't have the lag from it having to draw the charge all the way through all that piping. Now we are gonna be mounting this on a bone stock engine at first, and then we're gonna be doing some upgrades to it later, like a billet rod, flywheel, and we're gonna get a custom cam made. Uh, so what we have to do is remove the gas tank, exhaust, and the air box from this, and then we can get our CAD software out and we can design up a bracket to mount this supercharger. We're gonna mount it in the place of the gas tank and we're gonna use a tensioner pulley that pushes into the belt to get our belt tension. So the supercharger will be mounted solid. There's no adjusting to it. Once it's there, it's there. And then we can run our air filter on top of the supercharger and the charge pipe into the carburetor. If this doesn't work, then we'll go on to the draw through method. But I'm really hoping with this propane, it kind of regulates the amount of fuel it needs uh, because of this regulator and stuff. And I'm really hoping that it works just right out of the box. We can just slap an air filter adapter on, put a coupler to some pipe that go to the supercharger. So without further ado, let's get this engine tore down and get our CAD software out so we can mount up this AMR 300 supercharger.
so the main supercharger bracket is going to bolt up to this four bolt flange and come up and house the supercharger up here and then this idler pulley is going to set either here or here and be a drag system and push against the belt then we have a pulley that we can space out however, however we like to line up with this and then the belt will have good wrap around the supercharger and the idler pulley and everything this is just a lawnmower deck uh, pulley from napa so this is the CAD software I use called Shaper 3D. And if you're new to CAD, I highly recommend this software. You can try it for free at first and then pay for it if you seem to like it. We are not sponsored by them in no way, shape, or form, but it is an awesome CAD software. So I made this in about 20 or 30 minutes and we got all of our measurements here. You can see the slide there in the center for the tensioner. And I've already made it into like a 3D model to show you so now we're going to back up and I got to make a few changes. I want to make sure thicknesses around bolt holes are correct uh, just so it's strong and we have a lot of support for our supercharger. So again, I highly recommend checking out Shaper 3D if you have some type of CNC plasma cutter or even you can make 3D models for a 3D printer in this. Uh, but this software is super easy to use and uh, we made this about 20, 30 minutes. Now we can cut it out on our CNC and get it bolted up on our engine. All right, so here is the setup. So we basically have the idler pulley tensioned up. We had to use a lawnmower style belt because the parts stores didn't have this belt in stock. There it is, super tight, and there's only really one thing left to do. Oh, and I took a Go Power Sports air filter, an air filter adapter for a Makuni, and these, uh, let me find it here. Don't know where it's at. Well, I was looking for the other uh, little neck. It's a threaded piece of aluminum so if you sand the threads off the go power sports Makuni adapter actually presses on really tight and you can tighten the set screws so our filter will point towards the seat of whatever the vehicle it's on because this is the side of the engine that would point towards the driver uh, so now all we have to do oh it's right here uh, so you can see these coarse threads I just sanded off the threads until this was completely smooth I couldn't put it in the lathe because uh, I had no way to grab onto it so um, if you send off those threads, a Makuni air filter adapter for a 24 millimeter Makuni will work perfect on that. So I think this looks awesome. Get a shot of the other side of the engine. Uh, so now all we gotta do is take all these bins. I have a 180 that I cut in two so I could clock it different. And then I have this 45. And between these three pieces and one little piece of straight, we can connect the supercharger to the intake. So we'll have a coupler here and then it'll be a coupler there. So I made a real quick gasket for this hog. Now we can put the coupler on. I already made one for the intake side. This is the boosted side. Since I didn't have the right coupler, I had to use this uh, step down from Napa. Slides in there like so. Catches it so it don't slide too far. Then take and put our charge pipe. Actually, we start it in the carbonator. And we just push it in. Probably going to change the way this is set up at a later date. So it shouldn't leak any boost, I wouldn't imagine. So now we have everything ready uh, to do our first startup. We have our regulator just sitting up here. That'll hook up to our tank. I don't know if I'm going to use a small or a big tank. I had this, uh, this muffler sitting around from i don't know what it's off of but it bolted right on so that's what we're going to use and uh we'll see what if we can hear a difference all right so we're going to see if this thing starts fuels off so chokes off I'm trying to remember how to start the uh the pro propane engines so i know i gotta purge it and we'll see what it does Lord be with us, I can't shut it off. What? 
Yeah, we need to hook up a kill switch. How about that? <laughs> like we've been dead. Wow! We got my full throttle. Won't shut off. Are you sure it's gonna bounce off the table? For sure I am. How are you gonna catch it? Okay, so obviously the engine's not starting. What it's doing is just hitting uh, just for a split second, but it won't ever run. And my experience with these propane engines is they start up extremely fast and uh, you normally don't have to turn them over like you would with gas. So I knew something wasn't right. You guys who probably know about propane and propane regulators, propane and propane accessories, um, probably are beating your head against the screen saying uh, what is wrong here. So this is not going to work in my opinion from what I understand about how the regulators work. So a propane regulator has a diaphragm inside and when the intake valve opens in the engine it causes a suction, a vacuum on the barb that the propane is hooked to. That suction goes down to the regulator and it opens a diaphragm and that diaphragm allows a shot of propane to come out. So that's how it's working. It's working as a little diaphragm pump on the propane tank and pumps propane in the engine. So the problem is as soon as this fires up, this makes a little bit of pressure uh, boost, if you will, and then it pushes air through the propane line. So propane's never gonna get to the car, basically. And I didn't know this. Maybe before doing this video, I should've looked up how the propane regulator works. I didn't know. So that's how it works. Okay, so that obviously is not gonna work. So I'm gonna show you why the gasoline side of it won't work. Basically, a uh, carb works off vacuum as well. It's pulling a vacuum, which uh, lets air through the front of the carb. There's little holes in the front of the carb and the air will pass through there, go into the bowl and push out through the main jet. And it like draws a spit of fuel in your main jet, regulates how much fuel is going in there. Well, when we add boost to the mix, what it's going to do is pressurize the carburetor and pour fuel everywhere. Uh, and that's been my experience messing with carburetors and superchargers. So I'll show you what it does real quick and then we'll end this video. All right, so we got our engine bolted down to the table. We switched over to gas and we've jetted up the carb. We have the fuel on, we have the choke on. We have our kill switch and our starting switch handy. So let's hope this all goes good. Ooh. Okay, right off the bat, she blew some fuel. All right, so this was kind of a fail video, but it's, uh, again, we learned how regulators work, and I never knew that before. That's how they worked. I never really looked into it too much. Um, you know, we just kind of jumped on this project. So uh, make sure to check out the links in the video description for the parts that we use and are going to use in the next video on this. Uh, we got a billet rod and a billet flywheel. We're definitely going to be running the billet flywheel in the next video because we're not going to have a governor because the fact that we're putting the carburetor before the supercharger we'll have to get rid of that and we got to find out what carb we're going to use with this setup uh, i don't want to use a slide carburetor because the vacuum of the supercharger can cause the slide to stick and you don't want that on a go-kart or something uh, but we will be installing the billet flywheel and stuff on this engine and we can see if we can make it work so if you have any suggestions of what we could do differently or what we should do in the future with this let us know we do have this harley davidson transmission uh, this is a five-speed gearbox and we're going to link it behind this engine once we get it all set up so let us know what you want to see it on mini bike go-kart whatever and uh, we'll make it happen thank you so much for watching thank you go power sports for sending out the parts we use their uh, carb adapter that lets you put an air filter on and we'll also link their little performance kit for 440s and 420s it comes with a jet air filter adapter and an air filter as well as their their header build kits it comes with the flanges and their Makuni adapter works perfect on the supercharger if you knock off those threads. So, massive shout out to Go Power Sports. Thank you guys for watching. We love you and God loves you. We'll see you on the next one. God bless.